These are the things that the stores don't want you to know. We are going to determine if these four stores and the tips that we have been told by TikTok are actually a hack or just whack. 2021, what a time to be alive. I feel like I'm part of this game. Clearly, it's whack. Hey guys, welcome to Clever Style. And welcome to anyone who is very addicted to TikTok, just like we are. Recently, we have come across some shopping tips or hacks, if you will, determined to make shopping even easier. And these are the things that the stores don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. You don't even know! And shopping plus TikTok equals of something we had to investigate here at Clever. So basically we're putting on our fashion detective hats as we do and we are going to determine if these four stores and the tips that we have been told by TikTok are actually a hack or just black. The four stores we are shopping at today are Target, TJ Maxx, Walmart, and Zara. And as we're going through these stores and trying out all these hacks, let us know, one, if you've tried the hack, and two, if you have a better hack. Just drop it down in the comments because we need to know. Life hacking, baby. Monday's items for babies, children, and electronics. Tuesday's women's clothing and home items. Wednesday's food, health, and beauty, men's clothes, toys, and gardening. Thursday is sporting goods and luggage. Friday is cosmetics, jewelry, hardware, auto, and home improvement. Certain days have certain sales. We're here on a Wednesday, so according to this TikTok, food, health and beauty, men's clothes, toys, and gardening should all be on sale. We obviously went straight to food. There was the widest variety of things on sale. The coffee was really, really well priced. If you bought two, they were like $6.50, remember? We got so many drinks. I got a three pack of LaCroix for 10 bucks. I know Sinead hates LaCroix, like to the fiery pits of hell. Bar. Barfed all of it. You know this. what? Get out of here, good and gather. <laughs> On sale, two ninety nine. Same exact price as this trash. Yeah, but does it say three for ten? Like that's way more exciting verbiage. Okay, these are three for nine because they're saved a dollar. Because they're lame. It seemed like every single type of beverage was on sale. Yeah, beverages slapped. Food was medium. One of the biggest sales I saw was almond butter because Justin, what the f is in your almond <laughs> butter? It's expensive. It's <laughs> Hell. Today, it's on sale for $6.79. That's $1.50 off. It's almost worth it. I will get this. We went to the refrigerated section and I noticed a bunch of yogurt was on sale. Not the one I usually get, so I was a little bummed out. But I know you lucked out. You got some goodies. I got milk cookies. They were <gasps> two for five bucks. Next, we ventured over into the health and beauty section. We steered away from makeup because we did see makeup was on a different day. So beauty to us meant more like wellness, hair stuff, hair we thought, stuff. maybe. I noticed a couple boxes of tampons mm -hmm. on sale. They were not necessarily a sale. They were like buy to get a gift card back. 100% organic, unscented, chlorine, pesticide, and fragrance free. Plant-based, plant-based tampon. 2021, what a time to be alive. The incentive I think for health and beauty for them isn't as strong, you know? You have like a year and a half before something cannot be used anymore. So I feel like that's why there was a lot more gift card sales. To me, it didn't look like it was on sale. It looked yeah. like you were gonna get a gift card back for spending money, here's a Target gift card, which is a great incentive, but that to me is not a sale. Do you guys stink? Not to worry, the native deodorant is on sale. It looks like you saved 99 cents each. When you buy two, you save a dollar if native is like a brand you love, come on a Wednesday. We went through the men's section, nothing was on sale. Not a single thing. Not really a letdown, cause like what do we care? So we kept it moving, <laughs> went straight to the toys section. Mm, mm. We came up in the toys section. We did. We got some Nerf guns, and yes, we will be attacking all of our coworkers <laughs> with that. This Nerf Knight Fortnite gun was $36.99 and it is now $18.49. Look how much good. fun they're having. That could be us. You had to like chase me away from this Barbie section. It was like cheerleader like Barbie. Oh yeah, they Barbie. so creepy. Bratz heads, but they were on sale. I was yeah, like, and they looked into your soul like this. <laughs> Legos were like also Dude, on sale. the Lego sets were so good. The big Lego sets, so like the architecture sets yeah. where you can build like the Empire State Building or the Millennium Falcon. And they were like 20 to $40 off. And those are the ones that everyone gets for gifts. So we're coming up on the holidays. Maybe go check it out next time and see if Wednesday is a great day for you to go and get some of those really big Christmas type toys. Such good advice. Thank you. Thank you. By the time summer's over and school has started, all of Target and really every store is like, oh my God, we need to start preparing for all the holidays that are months and months away. So they get rid of all the gardening stuff. So when we went there, it was shoved in a corner, which was really rude. They Brass had like one bag of soil. There were like six planters. I bought like four of them. There were things on sale, but they didn't even care to put the red tag. This was $30.50 and it's now on sale for $26.99, but it's not red. I had to do some investigations. So overall, I'm gonna say for the most part, this was fun.
because to me, I feel like Target has sales all the time. The only thing that really impressed me was the food and maybe some of the toy stuff. I thought it was a whack. I like was bored. I was like, this just, I'm at Target. Like the sales weren't anything worth it to me to even like really dive through. It, it was just wacky. What? We're gonna find your product on the bottom, normally where the, where the barcodes are. There's gonna be something called a batch number, which is this long number right here. So what you do is you're gonna go into the cosmetic calculator, select the brand, which mine's Olay. Okay, you hit done. Then you're gonna enter in the batch code, okay? Calculate. This says it was made in 2011. This product is almost 10 years old and they're trying to sell it to you. Don't get scammed. All right, you are gonna go to this website, checkcosmetics.net, and then you enter in the batch number found by the barcode, and it will tell you whether or not it is expired. So we went to TJ Maxx, we really went hard at the cosmetics section, obviously, mm -hmm. and it was pretty surprising. We saw a ton of brands that we already like totally. knew and loved, like really expensive brands you find at Sephora and Ulta. Yeah. This is Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. I'm actually, Bobbi Brown is a great brand. I always forget about them. I have this neck. Travel exclusive mini lipsticks. That's like legit. They'll like, tackle you if you try to steal. <laughs> we grabbed a bunch and then we got outside. Up first, we have the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. We bought this for $6. Steal. And, and we realized very quickly that not every single brand we bought was on the drop down menu. Cover what? FX is not one of the brands on here. We probably should check that before we shop for the products. It's okay, but you, you know, you watch learning. us to learn our mm -hmm. lesson. What a teachable moment! We actually had a few items that were on it. At first, we had Mac Cosmetics. This was a travel size lipstick pack for five lipsticks. There are a lot of codes on these packaging, yeah. so when you drop down the Mac like little option, the code is actually for these going to be a, just a three-digit little code at mm -hmm. the bottom of each lipstick. Yeah, there's also a three-digit code on the bottom of this box as well. It's at the end. Okay. It was manufactured. November of 2019. Its general shelf life is 36 months, so three years from that time, meaning that this product is now valid for at least the next 14 months. Up next is a product that I just like really resonate with. Saint Tropez Self Tanner. I've never used this one, Gradual Tan. Oh yeah, it's actually great, I love it. I'm very curious, because this is something you rub all over your body, and I'm curious, I didn't realize stuff like this expires. The date of manufacture for this is the 13th of December, 2020. That's really new. It has shelf life of 12 months, which means that you have until December of 2021 to get the best results The best tan of, of your life. I don't even know if I really would have like, needed any of these things or are they just so cheap that I'm like, yes. great, I need to buy these. But that's the point. A cosmetics calculator can tell you, should you get this or is this expired? So I think that is in and of itself like a super hack, especially if you're about to drop a bunch of money and think you got a really yeah. good deal only to discover that all that makeup is about to expire in like four days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought it was a hack in the sense of the website worked. It really did tell you how long it's been on the shelf, yeah. how long it's been out. I felt like a lot of the packaging was kind yeah, of totally. brittle and torn apart. And when I'm putting something like that on my face, that just feels a little bit on the ickier side for me. So I would have to be diligently in there on that freaking website. Yeah, well, I think it's definitely gonna change the way I shop at TJ totally. Maxx now. I've been hacked! When you go to Walmart and the doors open, look up, there's a four digit code, remember that. Now go inside and do your shopping, but self checkout. Now on that screen on the top right corner, there's an option for discount code. Click that and enter the code. Check for a four digit code when entering the store and use that code at self checkout only. There should be a place on the top right corner that says discount code and be sure there are no sale items, but it should give you money off. understand what I'm supposed to be looking for. We've literally been like standing looking at the ceiling, but the ceiling's just like really industrial. There are no numbers. I feel like I'm part of this game. People saying it doesn't work, it doesn't work, there is no code. Oh, and then somebody said only managers, supervisors, general managers. Uh, oh, okay, okay, thank sorry. you. We got kicked out. We felt really badass about it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but for reals, the supervisor who kicked us out did help us figure this hack out. He basically said, you should have just asked me and I would have told you that that is a hoax. And we were like, oh. But we weren't the only ones that fell for it, all yeah. right? So obviously, now that we know that this is totally fake, one, rude, and two, clearly, it's whack. Whack. If you then shop at Zara, then this is the PSA you didn't know you needed. Circle means it runs big. 
Triangle means it runs small. Squared means true to sight. We love Zara, but we had no idea about this hack. No. And I had always noticed these symbols. Me and, too. And I never thought anything of it. Three different symbols on Zara tags will show you how the items are supposed to fit. So circle means it runs big. Triangle means it runs small. Square means true to size. Anyway, we decided to each try on the same pair of jeans in our size just to see if that was like a true feeling for each of us. All of the jeans we tried on fit horribly. They were horrible fitting. And they were like low rise and cropped. Like what is that combo? Yeah. But I did find a pair of jeans when I was leaving the store and they had the triangle emoji. And actually I tried them on in a size down and they fit perfectly. Out of all of them, the square or the one that is supposed to fit true to size was the most well fitting sure. pair of jeans. But I don't think that that was because there was a square. I think it was a coincidence. I think we all know if you're a Zara shopper, their jeans are hard. They fit differently. It's not consistent. But when you find that really good pair of Zara jeans, you're gonna uh. fall in love with them. So I would say the best hack you can do with Zara is find the jeans you like and take two sizes into the dresser. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I still kind of thought it was a hack. I just think we were dealt a bad hand with the jeans we randomly selected. But I'm actually gonna take this new knowledge into like my whole future at Zara. Like I will pay attention. I think this is kind of whack. Ooh. We tried on three pairs of jeans and not one of them kind of, you know? So what are the chances that moving forward, the symbols are magically gonna start working? And if you guys have been to Zara and tried any of the other items of clothing, like jackets, shirts, please let us know in the comments below if it like is a tried and true hack because I need to know. I need to like go yeah, back with like do. some real confidence. I need answers like yesterday. I had so much fun shopping yeah. actually. Like we had a really fun day. Obviously we like each other, so that's fun. <laughs> but just going out and trying like these tips and hacks and seeing, I like secret things the same way I feel about secret menus, you yes. know? Yes. I'm like, oh my God. like Treasure hunt. <laughs> it just feels like fun and exciting. So if there are any other hacks, tips, tricks, shopping things that you feel like, oh, maybe you have figured something out that isn't even a known hack, let us know in the comments because we volunteer as tribute to do this. Yes. Again.